Carla on WOR in New York. What's your read of all of this? Um, I, I would like to make a connection between what happened in Georgetown last week, what's going to happen in um, Notre Dame, and what happened down with Hugo Chavez. Um, the first thing I'd like to say about the, uh, the whole business at Georgetown is that what Obama is doing, every time he forces himself into a Catholic university, and it ties into this, Michael, what he's doing when he asks for symbols to be removed or signs of Catholicism, is he's letting the world know that... Catholics, in the end of the day, Catholics have to listen to Obama above the Pope. So he's placing himself in a place of world domination that is far higher than the Pope. So the cowards at... Wow, that's really amazing. He's that crazy? Yes. Uh, the cowards at Georgetown and at Notre Dame will obey him over the Holy See. Very, very... You think he's that megalomania maniacal? You think he's that nuts? Absolutely, but let me tell you how this is all going to plan, excuse me, <clears throat> going to plan. Everything is going to plan for him. This weekend, and I'm, by the way, from your old neighborhood in Queens, this weekend, all the illegals were out in the streets. This weekend, the weekend of this, of this atrocity down in, in South America, wearing their Che Guevara shirts, they're coming out of the woodwork. Because the point how could the people not, let me interject, how could the people not see that the drug gangs are here as illegal aliens? How could the people not see with their own eyes that they're under the guise of coming here as laborers? How could they not see that this is a revolution that has been imported to America under the guise of laborers? Because they don't have the vision that you and I do, period. And what I'm trying to say to, what I'm trying to, say to you as well is that what was going on in this meeting which creates the access between the South American dictatorships and their Nazi connections and the Saudi connections overseas. What was happening this weekend was the prelude to Obama's opening the gates of illegal immigration. And let me explain to you why he wants to do it. It's not just that he wants to have an impenetrable electorate that will always vote for him and will overwhelm us by numbers. It's not just that. Obama wants to replace the majority cultural background of this country with people who do not have pride in the founders, pride in the Constitution. He wants to replace the majority of voters with people for whom the Constitution and being an American means nothing. Right. They do come from a socialist dictatorship called Mexico. They come from nations without any human rights. And instead of them picking up human rights, they're spitting on our human rights, and they're trying to turn us into the very rotten nations they came from it's not exactly that way in my opinion in my opinion and this has been true with most most dictatorships in the in the in the latin american sphere in my experience what happens is these countries perceive their rescuers as the socialists as the communists like happened in cuba it happens all it happens to be wrong but this is what happens with third, third world uneducated people and so what happens is they come here and they see a, a communist dictator heading up the country, and for them, in their cultural uh, frame of mind, that's a good thing. You see, Carla, are you a, are you a political scientist or simply a highly educated observer? I'm just a very, very smart person, Michael. I used to run. I ran for Congress in '94 in the class of Gingrich here here in uh, here in New York. Um, I was completely. I, I wiped the floor with with the liberal uh, Democrat that I, was my opponent and the Republican machine. Um, in, in New York just just abandoned me. So. Yeah, they're garbage. They're garbage. They're worse than the Democrats because they're backstabbers and phonies. I agree with you. At least we know what the Democrats, what we're getting. The Republicans are far more dangerous with regard to honesty because you don't know what you're getting. They disguise themselves. Carla, what do you do now? I'm very curious. What, what, you're going to love it. I'm a musicologist, and I'm also a management consultant. And if, I, you lived in, if you lived in the Bay Area, I'd offer you a, a position immediately. I would I'd, I'd have to hire you as a producer. I absolutely should work with you because... No, you're because smart, man. I mean, you really are really insightful. Lectures on faith in the art, through the arts. Carla, have you done any writing? Hmm? Have you done any writing? I'm, I'm very well published. Carla, well stay published. on the line. Beowulf, make certain you and Carla talk about the project you and I are working on because I would like to include Carla in this project. This is a literate woman. I love insightful people, and, uh, you know, more than one mind is definitely required to see the whole picture. Let's go to other callers around America the minute I come back. Uh, I'm trying to do my best. I'm only one man. There are others doing a good job.
in their own way. In their own way, Obama and the dictator, the racist at the U.N., the press torturing the United States of America, calling the teabaggers with sexual innuendos, homosexual innuendos about dirty, filthy, despicable acts that homosexuals engage in, trying to turn a true grassroots movement into something despicable from a gay bathhouse, and that passes for CNN and MSLGBT. That's what's going on in your country today. Savage.